Hello boys and girls of Key Stage 2. Welcome to our first virtual PE lesson with me, Mr. J. We're going to be doing these PE lessons every single week until you are back here in school. And what we're going to be focusing on over the next few weeks is gymnastics. I can already hear some of your cheers and yeses about doing gymnastics and that's what we're going to be focusing on. And today specifically, we're going to be focusing on gymnastics shapes. So we are going to learn seven gymnastics shapes today. So let's get started. Are you ready? What is the first thing we need to do in a PE lesson? So boys and girls, what is the first thing we need to do in a PE lesson? You will see on your worksheets, you have some gaps or sentences to write on why we do something to our body right at the start of our PE lesson. I'm going to let you attempt them now and I shouldn't need to tell you the answers. Mr. J drills these four reasons into you all the time. Good luck. Okay, so for our warm, the first thing I want you to do is to make sure you've got lots of space around you. In a big, empty space, you've got rid of anything that might be in the way. So as you can see, Mr. J is in a nice big space with nothing that he could potentially fall over or hurt himself with. So for our warm-up, today, boys and girls, we're going to be playing the bean game. So what's going to happen is I'm going to shout out some words or some varieties of beans and you are going to perform the action as we do it. So I'm going to run through them all now before we play our bean game. So our first bean is the runner bean. So if I call that runner bean, we're going to be running on the spot as fast as we can. That is the runner bean. Our second bean is the broad bean. So we need to make ourselves as wide as we can. And that is for our broad bean. Our third bean, is our jumping bean. So if Mr. J calls that jumping bean, we're gonna jump as high as we can. Our fourth bean is the baked bean. So if I call that baked bean, you're gonna make yourselves as small as you can on the floor. That is our baked bean. Our fifth bean is our jelly bean, and you are gonna wobble like jelly. So if Mr. J calls that Jelly bean, we're gonna wobble our arms and wobble our legs. Our sixth bean is our string bean. So string bean are really, really tall. So you need to make yourself as tall as possible on your tiptoes, get your arms nice and high. And our last bean is our frozen bean, where you need to freeze on the spot, okay? So whatever bean I call out, that's what action we are going to perform. Let's give it a go. So, we'll do them in order to start off with. So our first one, remember, is runner bean. So running on the spot. Our second bean, who can remember what it was? It was broad bean to make ourselves nice and wide as wide as we can. Third bean was jumping bean. Get your knees nice and high, feet off the ground. Our fourth bean that comes out of a tin. Baked beans so nice and small. Excellent. Fifth one was jelly beans. So shake our arms, shake our legs. Sixth one was string bean, nice and tall. Excellent. And our last one, remember, was frozen bean. Okay. So run a bean. Jumpy bean. Jelly bean. Excellent. Keep them jelly beans going. Broad bean. Nice and wide. String bean. Jumping bean. Runner bean. Excellent. Broad bean. Baked bean. String bean. Runner bean. Jumping bean. Jelly bean, 
and freeze. Excellent. Have a go at practicing your beans on your own now. Good luck. Boys and girls, let's give our arms a big shake and our legs a big shake as well after our warm up. Come on, body a big shake. Okay, now it is time to learn our first shape. And this shape is called a pencil. Repeat after me, pencil. Pencil, pencil. Okay, so to perform our pencil shape, we need to stand up straight, nice and straight. Then we're gonna put both our legs together, glue them together. And then we're gonna put our arms above our head, nice and straight as well. You need to be strong like a pencil. Okay, so remember we're gonna stand up nice and straight. Feet together, legs together, arms above our head. Nice and strong like a pencil. Okay, that is our pencil shape. Can you now think of some different ways to perform our pencil shape other than standing up. So how else could we perform our pencil shape? Here's some ways that Mr. J managed to think he managed to perform a straight shape. On my tummy. And on my side. Give yourselves a clap if you manage to think of a different way to perform a pencil shape. The second shape we're going to learn about today, boys and girls, is the star shape. Repeat after me. Star, star, star. Okay, so to perform the star shape, what we need to do, we need to put our arm as wide as we can out to the side. And we also then we need to put our legs out as wide as we can out to the side. And that is how we perform our star shape. If you look at Mr. J's body, it looks like a star. So all we have to do to perform a star shape, arms out as wide as we can, legs out as wide as we can, and that is our star shape. What other ways, other than on our feet and standing up, can you think of that we can perform a star shape? Here's some ways that Mr. J managed to perform the star shape other than on my feet. On my tummy. And on my back. Give yourselves a pat on the back if you've managed to perform the star shape in some different ways. Well done. So boys and girls, for our next gymnastic shape, we're going to be learning how to perform the tuck shape. Say it with me, tuck, tuck, tuck. Fantastic. Okay, to perform the tuck shape, we need to do this on our bottom. So I'd like you to sit on your bottom. Okay. And all you need to do then is you're going to bring your knees to your chest. You pull your legs as close as possible to your chest, okay? You're then gonna put your chin to your knees and you're gonna hold one leg with one arm. Okay, and that is the tuck shape. Now watch it again, we're gonna sit on our bottom. 
We bring our knees to our chest, our chin to our knees, and we're gonna hold one leg with one arm. And that is our tuck shape. Can you think of some different ways, different body parts we can perform our tuck shape over them on our bottom? Here's some other body parts that Mr. J performed the tuck shape on. On my legs. On my back. Remember keeping my legs. Bring our legs to our chest. Chin nice and small. On my side. Give yourself a big cheer if you manage to perform the tuck shape on some different body parts. Yay! Well done boys and girls. So boys and girls, the next shape we're gonna learn how to do in gymnastics is called the pike shape. Repeat after me. Pike, pike, pike. So to perform the pike shape, we need to start on our bottom. Let's sit on the bottom. And we need to put our legs out straight in front of us. Then we need to put our arms out straight in front of us and keep our back nice and straight. Imagine we've got to pull on a pair of trousers really fast. So we pull them up, keep our legs straight, and we put our arms out straight, keep our back straight. So we do from the side, we sit on our bottom, we put our legs straight. We put our arms out and we keep our back nice and straight as well. And that is the pike shape. Can you, can you think and perform the pike shape on any different parts of our body other than your bottom? Have a go. Here's some ways that Mr. J performed the park shape other than on his bottom. On my back. On my side. And on my feet. There's just three ways that Mr. J managed to perform the pike shape on different body parts. Well done if you thought of your own excellent work. The next shape we're going to learn how to perform in gymnastics is the straddle shape. Repeat after me. Straddle, straddle, straddle. So, to perform the straddle shape, we need to start on our bottom again. And the first thing we do is we put our arms out and point them towards our toes. Then the second thing we need to do is we need to put our legs nice and straight and point them to our toes. And we must keep our legs straight. No bending of your knees. So as far as you can, keeping your back straight as well. This is called the straddle shape. Watch again from the side. Start on your bum. Put your arms out straight. Try to point it towards your toes. Legs straight. Keeping your legs nice and straight. Don't bend the knees. Arms nice and straight as well. Pointing towards your toes. This is the straddle shape. Have a go at trying to perform the straddle shape on some other body parts other than your bottom. Good luck. Here's some ways that Mr. J performed the straddle shape other than on my bottom. 
on my back. On my side. And on my feet. Well done if you manage to think of some different ways and perform them on different body parts other than on your bottom. Great work boys and girls. The last two shapes we're going to learn today um, are called arch and dish and all I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to perform them. I'm not going to tell you, I'm just going to show you and then I'd like you to have a go at attempting to perform them yourself. So the first one is dish. And the second one is arch. Have a go at both the arch and the dish shape. And if you find them really, really easy to perform, have a go at performing on a different body part other than on your back or your front. Good luck. Unfortunately, boys and girls of Key Stage 2, Year 3, 4, 5 and 6, that is all we've got time for today. However, Mr J did forget to film your final video clip, so that is why you will see the video clip that I filmed for Years 1 and 2. Obviously, we've learnt 7 gymnastic shapes today, um, and all I would like you to do is to now work through if you haven't already your worksheets within your remote learning packs with any challenges and additional tasks and you are more than welcome to practice the shapes again ready for next week don't forget to upload the pictures of you practicing the shapes we learnt today onto your class dojo page see you next week <laughs>